There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they're never tired, they're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! I know it's her fault! I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Little fucking brat! Oh, it's all her fault!
It's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. Alice! Daddy's very mad! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat>
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo, oh, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo, what's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop, Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No. You're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm going to destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Uh, uh, uh. Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android?
Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. What the fuck is it doing now? Recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. I detect an instability in your program. 
it can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened why did you tell them you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead! Do you hear me? Dead! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... there was always something wrong. Then one day... He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again, and again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? to RA-9. 
Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm down. Don't be difficult. You only make things harder. No. No, don't touch me. Oh, Chris, you gotta move this asshole one. I'm trying, but it's not moving. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. You're not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. 